over your years, 40 years in Washington, D.C. and around the world, you've been involved in taking America to war and planting the seeds of democracy. Currently, President Obama has announced that we're leaving Iraq. Is this the right time and why this was negotiated during the Bush administration, a time to bring our men and women back home? But is this the right decision now? Well, I've, I've got a problem with it, David. I think uh, it's true that in, during the Bush administration, we entered into what's called a SOFA gr- agreement, a status of forces agreement. It's something we have with a lot of countries around the world where we have U.S. forces deployed, Japan, for example, and so forth. And um, we spent months negotiating that SOFA agreement. It set certain timetables, one of which was that U.S. Uh, forces would be out of Iraq by the end of 2011. Now, we were focused, obviously, at the time. We had significant, this was back during the surge, significant combat forces in, in Iraq and so forth. But there was another provision in there that's very important that seems to have been ignored, which was that we would also uh, reserve the right to negotiate with the Iraqis on some stay-behind forces. Uh, would have to be a, a, another negotiation, but that the U.S. and Iraq would come to some agreement on leaving behind trainers or uh, certain specialties or certain things we do very well with our military that the Iraqis don't do. They don't have much by way of air assets, um, the uh, logistics trains and so forth. There, there are a lot of things they need if they're going to be really effective going forward. And um, what we envisioned was that we would have uh, this negotiation of a stay-behind force, if you will. Now, people say, gee, we've been there a long time. We've been in Korea since 1950. Uh, and that's been to our benefit. It's been to the Korean benefit. It's helped provide peace and stability throughout that part of the world. We've been in Japan since 1945. We've been in, in Germany since, uh, since the end of World War II. Um, so our ability to go someplace and stay and be good neighbors and serve a useful purpose that's in the U.S. interest is, is well established. I worry that what's happened here is that the, the politics of the last election uh, have overwhelmed the uh, effort that would be required to put together that kind of agreement with respect to Iraq. Now, Iraq is admittedly, they're, they're a new democracy. Um, they're not very well organized yet. Uh, they look a little bit like we did back in 17... Uh, 81, mm-hmm. um, 82, um, and it's tough to, to negotiate those kinds of arrangements, but it can be done. And uh, I, th- uh, my concern is that we didn't make much of an effort this time around. This administration was bound and determined to get out no matter what, and it would be a real tragedy if we leave too soon before they're ready to fend for themselves to maintain their democracy and the security of their sovereign territory. Uh, we've had a lot of people sacrifice uh, a lot to get rid of Saddam Hussein, to get them established as a democracy, to have a constitution, hold elections, all those things that uh, we've accomplished over there over the last eight or nine years. And uh, I worry that in the rush for the exit here that we may, in fact, uh, make it uh, very difficult for yeah. them to succeed. And I think a lot of people should be reminded that we have not just had a military victory We've helped build an infrastructure, whether it's water, power, sewers, the ability to go to market for an Iraqi citizen. Our work is not just militarily, but all the support that we give them Mm -hmm. to build a structure and an infrastructure as a government. 